I have with me Jeff Davis, the CEO of Access Pharmaceuticals. Thank you very much for joining us, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Very welcome. Um, I guess probably the best way to start is maybe just a, a brief overview of Access Pharmaceuticals. Sure. Access Pharmaceuticals is a small Dallas-based oncology-focused biotech. It's been around for quite some time, but the real oncology focus has come in in probably the last two or three years. Mm. We've acquired some new technology. We have put an oncology-focused team in place. We've gotten a product FDA approved and commercially launching now. And so the, you know, the pieces are really in place to have you know, people take a look at Access, the new and improved version. Mm -hmm. I think you know, it's, you're in an interesting position because uh, you're kind of the offspring of, of three companies that have come together. Um, you know, Access, the original company, Samantha emerged, and then Macrochem. So you're in a, a great position where for a small company you have a very large and a very diverse pipeline. So we have you know, many things that we can talk about now. I think probably you know, what's on everybody's mind given your stock's performance in the past week and a half um, is your approved product, the FDA approved MuGuard for the oral mucositis. Um, if you want to go over, there's been some new data that's come out, uh, post-marketing study. Sure. That has been really um, generating a lot of interest. Sure, on both of your points, I mean, key to our strategy has been to build a big and diverse pipeline because you don't want to be in a position as a small company where you have a single failure mm -hmm. in the clinic or at the FDA that results in you know, a significant problem for your company. So we do, by making acquisitions and doing partnership transactions, we think we really you know, mitigate the risk for investors. Uh, a lot of excitement recently has been around MuGuard, mm -hmm. our FDA-approved treatment for oral mucositis. Oral mucositis is a very debilitating side effect of both chemotherapy and radiation therapy. A very high percentage of all patients taking radiotherapy or chemotherapy get this. It's a ulceration, it's a breakdown of the oral mucosa in your mouth. It's very painful. Some patients in the most severe forms have to be hospitalized because it's painful to drink, painful to eat. Mm -hmm. They go off radiation therapy or they go off chemotherapy. We are launching it commercially through a partnership in Europe and what has been recently announced is that post-marketing approval, these are market assessment studies, the data is starting to come out. And the data is actually looking even better than the data that we saw in our clinical trials, to the point where if used prophylactically and preventatively, that means use it prior to you actually getting oral mucositis, then we're seeing a much lower incidence of oral mucositis. Mm -hmm. In the few patients where actually they get oral mucositis, it's of much shorter duration and much less in severity. So it's a big unmet medical need. It's a very serious concern. With no and real we, standard of care now either. Yeah, there is no standard of care. There are a couple of proof products that clinicians really don't use very much mm -hmm. because they're known not to work very well. Okay, and what is typically, you, they, what happens unfortunately is clinicians wait until the condition occurs and you really want to go after it preventatively or prophylactically. Okay, and so th that's where MuGuard is going to be in. The other interesting thing that happened this week was due to a certain s set of circumstances, mm -hmm. which I think will ultimately benefit Access shareholders tremendously, mm -hmm. is we were able to reacquire the North American rights for MuGuard. Mm -hmm. And we've brought in some more personnel to help us with the pre-launch activities which are ongoing right now while we continue to discuss potential new license agreements mm -hmm. or co-promotion uh, with you know, big pharma or big biotechs here in the United States. Is there anything that we haven't covered so far that you feel is important to, to note at this time regarding access? No, I think, you've, uh, I think you've touched on it. I mean, the recent, I mean, I think the recent excitement in the story in the, in, in the share price has been you know, around MuGuard and the mm -hmm. fact that it is commercially launching. Uh, it, it's, you know, the initial data coming out of the Europe is very, very positive. And the fact that we were able to reclaim the mm -hmm. rights in North America will enable access shareholders to benefit, I think, you know, in a super normal way from getting those rights back and getting more of the economics for access. It'll be a busy year. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Jeff. Appreciate it.
Again, Access Pharmaceuticals. You can get more information uh, at One Med Place. They trade over-the-counter bulletin board ACCP. Mm -hmm.